Okay, so thanks everyone for joining today evening. So we are going to discuss an interesting topic on love, that is especially on self-love. Before we start, let's start with a couple of minutes of relaxation meditation. So request all of you to sit relaxed. Relax your feet. Relax your legs. Relax your lower back and the upper back. Relax your stomach and the chest. Relax the muscles of the face. Just observe your breath. Gently Observe the flow of your breath. Just observe how you are sitting. Just observe the pose. Just observe your thoughts. Just see what kind of thoughts is getting generated by the mind. Just create the thought. I am very special. I am very lucky. That today I am going to explore. I am going to enhance self love. I am fortunate enough. Haven't got this invite and make myself available for this session. I love myself. Shanti. Well, so thanks everyone for joining and uh, today we are going to explore and uh, on the way we are going to even experiment this particular topic, self-love. Okay. So love is something which heals and love is something which everyone wants. Okay, let it be elders, let it be younger, uh, whoever it is, let it be in office. So in all the places, people need love and they need respect. So both the things, every human being, they need love and respect. So on the way, sometimes um, we'll, we'll feel uh, left out and sometimes we feel we are not loved. So today we will see how we can love ourselves, what it means to loving myself, and uh, then what are the actions I can take to move forward. So as we would have seen in the invite, that loving myself is accepting who I am as it is, whatever I am, whoever I am, accepting myself, whether I will be, I would be good at something or whether I would be, I want to be good at something, but still accepting as it is, 
accepting ourselves and then taking actions to move forward okay and the key to unlock our greatness is self love so if you want to unlock our greatness if you want to move forward if you want to excel in our life so the key for that is self love so let us try ex going through the start exploring in deep more about loving myself okay so let's do a small exercise for a couple of minutes just think about uh, the good qualities which you have you can have a notebook and paper along with you and you can just note down at least five good qualities which you have if you don't have a notebook or paper what you can do is uh, you can just think about it but it's better if you can just write it down if you have a notebook and paper and and a pen you can just write it down if not you can at least uh, you can start thinking about it someone has typed a good with the headphones try if you can i want to just check um, is it very clear is the audio clear yes sir it is clear okay thank you so well just think about uh, the specialities which you have the good qualities which you have it could be you might be punctual you might be caring you might be loving just not on all the good qualities which you have i hope you have written it or you have thought about all the good qualities which you have and note down now the different achievements which you have achieved in your life from your childhood days you would have achieved a lot of things in your life you might be a good family good relationship good job good human being a lot of other achievements you would have achieved in your life just note down all the achievements so as i test said initially so as we go through the session we will start practicing it okay just note down your achievements i remember that when i was child Uh, when I so I used to stay in a village and I used to travel to the um, school by using um, the public bus. Okay, the bus comes once in the morning and once in the evening. And um, so at that time, I used to think that I will become a conductor once I become um, complete my studies. And on the journey, I might achieve a lot of things, uh, maybe spiritually or even uh, worldly. and now i'm able to work in an it company so uh, i i've never thought about the engineering because uh, the background where i grew uh, it was not like that so appreciate it. like in the same similar way in your life you would have achieved a lot of things might be small things or might be bigger things so just note down all the achievements which have achieved in your life and during the journey in your life so there would have been many people who would have helped you to achieve or who would have helped you to be in the current state whatever you are it could be your parents your kindergarten teachers or your friends or the environment your family just think of all those people who helped in this journey of your life to achieve whatever you have achieved today it could be your family it could be a teacher or a guardian or your friend or your brother or your sister 
just from your heart, just thank everyone who helped me in this journey to be where I am today. Just raise your hands, okay? So just raise your hands and pat yourself and congratulate yourself, appreciate yourself for whatever you are today. So, well, so someone has sent a message that I should be a bit more audible. Yeah, I will just take care of that. Okay, so well. And now let's thank God for all the opportunities he has given us in this life from your childhood till now. From your heart, you thank God for all those things which you have got in your life. It could be good health, good parents, good school, good opportunities, good job, good family, good atmosphere. Be thankful to God for all the opportunities which I received in my life. Okay, so this is the secret of uh, self-love that is being appreciating myself for what i am and also being grateful or being thankful for all those people who who are who are instrumental to bring us to the place wherever we are okay so, so that's one of the key to love yourself that is appreciate yourself for whatever you are but i know that um, we know that no one is perfect because sometimes we might have to do work on some of the areas uh, to make it better. Yes, of course, it's a journey. We can make it better always. But still, for whatever I have, just accept it and just appreciate yourself. Okay. Now, let's see the journey of life and the different dimensions uh, which we will be discussing today. Some of the, for some of them, we will be discussing in detail and some will be um, discussing from a high level. So, when you say the journey of life, okay, there are different dimensions. One is um, our physical health, how fit I am. And uh, next is the social health, how good I am, how is my relationship, how I am along with the community. Just take a pause and just think, see how good, how physically fit I am. And what is my social wellness or social health? and see your financial health as well. See your spiritual journey, what all kind of meditation you'll be practicing or uh, so, so just think about your spiritual journey, how good I am spiritually, how is my mind, how are my emotions. And see about your occupation. Am I doing good in my job? And how is my emotional state? Am I emotionally stable? Or sometimes am I getting depressed? Or am, am I very happy? So do the situations outside makes me emotional? Just check yourself. And how smart I am, how intellectual I am. And think about the environment which we live in. So do we have a very good environment at home, at outside, at office? So these are all the different dimensions we go through, uh, which is needed for a smooth journey of our life. Okay, so sometimes so if if all these things are balanced all these aspects are balanced the journey would be very smooth 
And some of the things are up and down. If it's not balanced, then the wheel of the life, the cycle, it will not be very smooth. Okay. So let's see. Let's take a pause. And we just explore about the different dimensions in our life. And then what we can do is we can work towards uh, bringing perfection or taking some actions for moving forward. Okay, so I could be physically fit, I could be financially good to some extent, spiritually good to some extent, or in some of the aspects, I may not be that good, or I could not be able to keep a balance. So we, we need to just work on it so that uh, we can have balance on all these different aspects so that when there is balance our life will be smoother and when our, uh, the journey is smoother when the journey is smoother we can travel long we can enjoy the journey it's like a tire of your uh, vehicle if the tire is uh, not good and there will be a lot of disturbance when you're uh, driving if the tire is very good if it's stable then the and the road is good the journey will be very stable okay so there are some things. So how I can make it stable? Okay, so for example, if I am financially not good or if I am spiritually not good or emotionally not good, so how I can improve it? Okay, so one is the mind work. So in mind work, what we can do is the more and more I think about it, I think about something, I become. So we have, uh, we have learned about the law of karma. So law of karma tells. So for each and every action or whatever we do, we get it in return. So as you sow, so shall you reap. That's what whatever we sow, we get it in return. So we know that the law of karma. And we also know that Newton's third law of motion, that is for each and every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, so similarly, uh, we know uh, the law of attraction. So in law of attraction, we, would, we heard this from law many, many years. Okay, the law of attraction is whatever we think we attract those situations in our life so similarly uh, we go one step further today that is the law of emotions so whatever emotions we have so we attract the type of situations we that attract the type of people who match that particular frequency of the emotions okay so the more and more the, so uh, even people say that you fake it until you become it so the more and more I think that I am a very good person, I am very powerful, I am very successful, the more and more you think about this, and internally, even if you can create that feeling, if you, if you can create that emotion that I am really perfect, I am going to achieve a very, very bigger thing. So what happens is your emotions, it attracts that kind of situations in the life. So, so it, it's one step ahead from the law of attraction. So in the law of attraction, what we say is, whatever we think, we attract that type of situations. But I think something, and in a parallel, if I know that, okay, really, I'm not really good in this thing. If your emotion tells that you're really not good at something, but if you just think that, yes, I'm really good, so that doesn't uh, work very well. So what we need to do is we have to uh, work on our emotions as well. We have to work on the emotions and the feelings. Okay, from the emotions, from the feelings, if we really think positive, then automatically we will be attracting the positive vibes and the positive. So they say that good vibes, if we have good vibes, then we will, our life will be very good. So you can see a cat just looking at the mirror and, and thinking that I'm like a lion, I'm very powerful. And the more and more we have the feeling that we are very powerful, we are very successful, we are really good, we are going to achieve greater heights in the different dimensions of my life. The more and more we think about that and we create the feeling and the emotions, we'll be able to uh, achieve that particular thing. Okay, so that's what we call it as uh, the, the mind work. So mind also plays a very, very important role when we say self-love, okay? So just sit relaxed and let's try to experiment this. Okay, so just see yourself being very, very successful in your life. Take one aspect where you really want to excel. And 
and see yourself excelling in that particular area. It could be at work. It could be sports. See yourself at the top. See yourself being your best. and achieving your target and being very, very successful. Okay, so there are some physical poses also plays an important role uh, in changing our uh, behavior or changing our destiny, okay? So even the way you sit, sit very comfortably and then see that we are very, very confident, okay? And uh, so uh, just now we have thought, we, we just visualized that we are going to achieve, we are achieving excellence in whatever uh, target you, you want to achieve, okay? So just tell to yourself and take your hand like this. I hope you can see me. So tell yourself that uh, I have done it, okay? So just tell yourself that I have done it and be very, very confident. I have, I have achieved this. Okay, so, or I'm going to achieve this. The more and more you visualize this, instead of telling I'm going to achieve this, you can just tell I have achieved this. Just one or two minutes at, uh, at the different times of your day, you can with this posture of your body. So your body language also motivates your mind. So people generally say that, uh, people judge us based on the body language also when we attend some interviews or when we go out of uh, uh, people look us and based on the body language they decide us it's not only the other people who are judging us even the based on the body language even our mind tries to get tuned according to that either being confident or not confident so your our attitude changes based upon our own body language so whenever we say it whenever we say so be free be open and then have this body language very positive body, body language also don't get very very closed just be open when I mean, that also helps us to have very very uh, increase our positive attitude and then move forward okay so that's that's the mind work i have some chat okay so just now we did this exercise, we visualized what we wanted to be. Let's move on in this journey. So they say that when you pretend to be powerful, you will actually feel powerful, okay? So the more and more I pretend myself to be very powerful, so you will actually feel powerful. There is a lot of research done in this particular area. So you can find it in YouTube. Some of those things I will just share later on in this session. The more and more, even if you're not powerful, if you just pretend that you are powerful, actually slowly uh, your imagination slowly becomes a reality and we'll be really being powerful. So for this, what we need to do is we have to spend some time every day on ourselves because if we love our kid if we love our uh, uh, family we used to time to spend some time along with them it's really important to take time some time out daily for ourselves and think about our specialities and just visualize uh, do some positive affirmations visualize what you want to become where you want to be if you, if you can spend some time to you daily then of course, uh, it, it's, it's uh, undoubtedly you'll be able to reach a very, very higher stage in your life. So it's very important that we spend some time to visualize what you want to be and also write some affirmations that I'm re really very powerful, I'm very pure, I'm very successful, see yourself succeeding. So these positive affirmations, it brings positive vibrations, it, it creates a positive environment it brings the like-minded people near to you. And along with that, it builds your confidence as well. So it's very, very important. Even if you are weak currently in one of the area, write it very 
the opposite thoughts, the very powerful thoughts, so that uh, we feel powerful. The more we feel powerful, the, our emotions works very, very stronger than our thoughts. Okay, so it will, it will, it will start bringing uh, many good uh, situations or good opportunities in your life, and you'll start seeing yourself excelling in that. So these are the some of the mind works which we have. So even after doing the mind work, it's very important that uh, we do take some actions also. Yes, I do this. Uh, I, I do visualize uh, being positive. I pretend to be powerful or I write a lot of affirmations. And even after that, so some actions, we'll get some opportunity. We have to take some action, actions on ourselves. Okay. So that action is about, uh, uh, let's see some of the actions which we need to take. Okay. So one important thing is, are, am I ready to make some sacrifice? Because uh, I, I have planned to love myself. So when I plan to love myself, the first important thing is I should spend some time for myself, seeing, visualize where I want to be and uh, doing some affirmations. And even it needs some more sacrifices. Okay. So the first thing is, am I ready to win my morning? Are you ready to win your morning? So the early you get up from your bed and uh, we can achieve a lot so in general in this session specifically we say that don't compare yourself with anyone else you compare yourself with you if you are if you're already getting up very early in the morning and if you are out doing exercise if you're out doing meditation it's well well and good and if you're not doing that just think ask yourself can i spend some time can i get up about half an hour earlier than what I'm, whatever time I am getting up now. And then can I just get half an hour earlier and then just do half an hour of walking or half an hour of exercise or half an hour of meditation or split the time in 20 minutes of walking and 10 minutes of meditation, am I able to challenge myself, okay? So we say that people who wake up early in the morning, they succeed, they reach the, to the highest levels. So let's not compare with anyone else. Let's compare with ourselves and challenge ourselves. Just note on the time at what time you have gotten up today. And just you can note it down. Can I wake, wake up just 30 minutes early and spend some time on doing exercise? Just go out, get the morning air, the morning, uh, the sunlight, or, or the morning exercise, or the, or the meditation. Just ask yourself, challenge yourself. Can you do some sacrifice, half an hour sacrifice of your sleep? Even it might not be a sacrifice. Maybe it is just rescheduling. Just go half an hour early to your bed and wake up half an hour early and then spend that half an hour uh, for your exercise or meditation. And as I told already that not a very good affirmations that I am a very, very powerful being or it could be I am very, very successful being. So write them some positive affirmations. And as soon as you get up from your bed, just start thinking or writing these positive affirmations. The more and more we write, it will, it's more uh, powerful than just be thinking. As soon as you get up in the morning, the first five, 10 minutes, or just before you go to sleep, the last five, 10 minutes, just think about these positive affirmations. So what happens is it just sinks into the subconscious mind. So they say that the subconscious mind just accepts whatever we tell it to it. Okay, the sub subconscious mind will be active uh, early in the morning as soon as we get up, the first 10, 5, 10 minutes, and even when we are in asleep, so the subconscious mind works. So that's the reason it's very important. If we really love ourselves, spend some time, at least 5, 10 minutes, just before going to bed, think some very good positive thoughts, the positive affirmations, I'm very, very powerful, I'm very, very peaceful, I'm going to be very, very successful, just have this very powerful thoughts and I'm going to be the best in this particular area. Have these affirmations and, and these affirmations, even the sports people who are winning the Olympics, so they also share their experience. Uh, okay, Or even the Roger Federer in the tennis, he also tells that he does a lot of uh, that, the positive affirmations. He, he works a lot on his mind uh, along with working on the field. So the so the, what the brain does is, even if we imagine something, the brain generates the same kinds of hormone when we do it physically, okay? If we, if we, 
if you do something physically, whatever hormones, whatever reactions uh, the brain has, the same thing happens whenever we just imagine about that particular situation. So positive affirmations is also very important. So spend some time, at least five, 10 minutes, just before you go to bed and five, 10 minutes uh, as soon as you get up from your bed. So just have the positive affirmations and you can see that within a couple of months, you can see wonders happening in your life. Okay, so that, that's the power of positive affirmations. And am I ready to stretch myself? Are you ready to stretch yourself? If you are sleeping seven hours per day, can I just reduce that? Or can I just uh, reschedule it so that I can get up a little early? Or are, are you able to stretch beyond your limits in different aspects wherever you want to move forward? And the best thing we say that if you really want to move forward in your life, spend 10% of your time in studying, okay? It can be studying some spiritual courses. It can be studying something which is related to, you, to your work. Spend some time in studying. The more and more we study, the more and more we upgrade. So we'd be, even our mind will be, brain will be very active and we'll be able to use new techniques, new tools, and then we'll be able to excel. Am I able to stretch myself? If you really love yourself, you have to spend some time to yourself and you spend some time in learning something good so that which helps you to move forward, uh, which helps you to be very powerful, feel powerful internally, and to learn many new techniques, whether to empower your mind or the soul, or even to empower yourself uh, in your workplace. And next thing, very important thing when I love myself is, let's not try to impress others because we do a lot of things to impress others. So let's not try to impress others. Let's try to impress ourselves. Okay, yesterday I have done something good and today can I enhance it further? Let it be my physical exercise, let it be my meditation, let it be the way I cooked, uh, the whatever work I did in the office. Can you challenge yourself and impress yourself? The more and more we do, we challenge ourselves and stretch and move forward, our self-confidence increases. But the only thing what we shouldn't do is we shouldn't compare ourselves with others. When we compare our, our, ourselves with others, always we will feel bad. Because sometimes we'll feel good, sometimes we will we'll feel bad. Yes, of course, we can read the bi biography or we can read the uh, life of some other people just for an inspiration, but not to compare ourselves. So uh, for example, winning your morning, you can read all the people. So uh, the, the CEO of Apple, he wakes up early morning, 3.45 a.m. every day. And if you see all the uh, big entrepreneurs or all the leaders of the different organizations, they all wake up around 3, 4, or before 5. Even our prime minister, he wakes up before uh, 5 o'clock. And, and though they say that, he goes to sleep by 1, 1, PM, uh, 1 a.m. in the night, and he wakes up around uh, 4, 4 a.m. That's what uh, I heard. So we can use these examples just as an inspiration, but not to compare ourselves with others. So sometimes what happens is in office or at home or in the family, we try to compare ourselves with the others. And uh, sometimes if we are better than others, we will have that ego. Or if we are not better than others, um, we will be slightly uh, demotivated. So that's the reason we should, we should not compare ourselves with others at any cost. But still, if you want to learn for inspiration purpose, yes, of course, we can do that. So we should make it important that we impress ourselves but let's not try to impress others. And always test yourself. Okay, so these are some of the actions we have to take. So how do you test yourself whether I, okay, so today I'm, I'm attending this session. Just a minute, excuse me. I'm just meeting all and if you have any queries or if you have anything you can just raise your hands then i will uh, uh i will see your chat window for the questions or whenever we have the q a session at the end we can go through that um, and still if you have any questions i can unmute you on that particular so now i have unmuted everyone and um, so that um, you cannot unmute yourself now okay so that it will be easy for us to uh, just move in the flow 
and still if you have something to say you can just type in the chat window okay so how do i know that i'm progressing okay i i do uh, okay so i have made some affirmations so i'm attending the session today i'm noting down some points okay i'm planning myself okay today morning i will wake up at uh, half an hour early and write down these affirmations that i'm very very successful i'm i'm achieving the target very easily very swiftly and uh, you are planning to stretch yourself and uh, you are challenging yourself to impress yourself every day so you are making some plan how do you know that i move forward so what we say is, uh, if I don't check myself, I will not be able to change myself. Because when I check myself, I know where I am. And uh, when I know where I am, then I, can, I, I know that where to go and what's the speed I need to uh, uh, pick up next and uh, how fast I should go, whether I should take a flight or whether I should go by road. So all these things will come to know when I know where I am. For example, if I want to reach Bangalore in, uh, from Pune to Bangalore in next uh, half a day the only option which i have is take a flight but if i want to reach bangalore in two days or three days then i can take uh, uh, explore different options and i can go by bus or i can go by train i have different options similarly i have some target to achieve and now if i don't test myself if i don't know where i am then i will not be able to plan accordingly and, and sometimes i'll not be able to if i take a bus if i want to reach bangalore from pune in half a day then I will not be able to do that. So it's very important we test ourselves. So how do we test ourselves? So every day what you do is, okay, so uh, there are some questions. We'll take the questions um, a little later towards the end. And meanwhile, if uh, those topic comes as part of the PPT, we'll, we'll take it, okay? So, so what's that we uh, want to say is that we need to spend some time to test ourselves. How do I test ourselves? So every day, start writing a journal. So writing a journal, writing, keep a notebook and start writing a journal or start writing from morning to the evening what you did. And along with that, whatever, you would have made, made some resolutions in the new year or you would be making some resolutions or you would be not, noting some points today based upon whatever you liked from this session, you'd be making some affirmations and just look at it. It could be four points, five points or 10 points. It, it should be in some place where you can look at it daily. So just a couple of, for a couple of minutes, just look at it. What are the affirmations you have done? The more and more we remind ourselves the affirmations which we have done, so automatically we remember it and then we'll be able to do it. So every day check yourself based on the plan, whatever you have done, have you, have, are you able to do it? And based on what you did yesterday, challenge you today. Okay, today I did all these aspects. Tomorrow I'm going to do one thing extra. Okay, so testing yourself or writing a journal or checking yourself would help a lot to move forward. That's also one of the tools. And be the better version of you that you can be. So all we need to do when, we, when you love yourself is whatever I am today, I'm accepting whatever I am. It can be financially, it can be my physical health or it can be my relationship it can be whatever i did in the past okay i accept whatever i did and whatever i have and i'm very grateful for all those things which i have but when i say i love myself how can i be better okay so make some simple plans so don't plan such a way that uh, you'll not be able to do it so plan in such a way that take small steps whatever you can do then start stretching a bit start winning a morning a bit and start writing these positive affirmations and start checking yourself, take some five minutes, all these things uh, for checking yourself with just take five, 10 minutes every day, uh, just uh, before your sleep or uh, just a little earlier than, than that also you can check yourself. Or some people have the habit of checking even in between. So if you're comfortable in doing that, you can do it. But the only thing what we need to do is be the better version of you that you can be, okay? So, so that's, that's where when I allow myself, so in all the different aspects, can I be better in my relationship? If I'm, if I'm cooking in my kitchen, can I, can I make the food a little tasty? Or if I'm going to office, or if I'm doing a job, or can I be a little better in the different aspects that it be due to time management or that it be in delivering some of the deliverables? Can I be better? Okay, check yourself, plan it, and then move on. So they say that if you really want to excel or if you really love yourself, make a better version of yourself they say that for at least in a week half an hour 
during your weekends, let it be on Saturday or Sunday or whichever is your um, uh, day off, at that time just spend half an hour planning for your week. Either you want to get some vegetables to keep yourself physically fit or get some fruits, make all the arrangements and keep it ready. So spend half an hour for that. So half an hour you start planning for your week and then five minutes a day you start planning for the next day. So the people who over do this, so definitely they will be achieving a better version or achieving higher rights in their life. So these are some of the actions which we can take off. Okay, so, and, and I, I was going through some positive lifestyle habits. Okay, let's, let's discuss uh, those things. Okay, I have one more, more message in the chat. Okay, so what is self-love? Okay, so self-love is accepting whatever I am, okay, whatever I am, and then making the better version of myself, that is self-love. Okay, so if you still have something, so we can discuss at the end, I will enable the, uh, uh, enable the uh, unmute, I will enable the option to unmute. And so you can unmute yourself and we can have the questions at the end. So when I say, when I love myself, I should feel comfortable. Okay, so and one of some of the tools which I, we have seen is that you start appreciating yourself when it's the more and more you appreciate yourself, you'll feel better, you'll feel comfortable. And then what you can do is you can bring a better version of yourself. Might be in your health, you can improve your health, physical health, you can improve your mental health, you can start working on your relationship, you can start working on your uh, uh, the, the a job, you can start improving some of the things. So, or in your social life, you can start improving some of the things. So when I say self-love, I accept myself who I am, okay? I don't uh, be very harsh on myself, I accept who I am. And with love, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take small steps to bring a better version of myself. So that's what I consider as self-love. But still, if you are looking for something else, you can just type in the chat window. Okay, so let's see what are some of the lifestyle habits uh, which we can bring to really bring the better version of ourselves. Okay, so now we, we have just gone through uh, an exercise seeing that the different dimensions on where we are Okay, and uh, in terms of finance, in terms of in terms of your uh, uh, intellectual or emotional stability, or it could be a relationship or social health, we have seen different dimensions. And let us see what are the, some of the positive lifestyle habits we can bring in order to have a better version of ourselves, or in order to uh, bring better situation in our life. Okay, and uh, in simple terms, when I say that I love myself. So let's discuss about our inner values, the inner qualities a little later. So when I say that, uh, when I feel very comfortable, when I feel I'm peaceful on whatever I'm doing, when I'm happy, when I feel comfortable and pure and connected with people, and when I feel very confident and very loveful, then you can enjoy your life like anything. Okay, so experiencing these qualities and creating those situations and creating these habits which helps you to experience peace, helps you to experience love, experience, helps you to experience happiness. So, so that's actually, you are enabling yourself to live the qualities, the innate qualities which you have. So, so that's also a part of self-love. Okay, so th that's a quote that good vibes brings good life. Okay, so good vibes, okay, brings good life. So in Hindi say that, that is your attitude, whatever attitude, whatever emotions we have, we bring those kind of situations uh, in our life. Even the atmosphere we, where we live in, it, it gets impacted or uh, it gets influenced based upon the different vibes or emotions or attitudes which we have. Okay, so good vibes gives good life. But how, can, how I can have a good vibe? Because some, some people might be having challenges challenges in creating a good vibes. Okay, so that might be in a very uh, challenging situation where they would not be in a position to create good positive thoughts, but what exactly I can do to have good vibes so that it helps me to have a good life. Okay, so the best thing is if you have good company, okay, so every day spend some time with them. It can be a, a satsang where, or it can be a, a spiritual gathering 
but in, you can go and spend some time with those people there okay that vibration so one is it's not exactly that whatever they are following you need to follow but at least the vibrations the positive attitude the people have if you know good very good people start making good friends with them the more and more you are with the good people so the more and more the good vibrations you will be getting and then the more and more vibrations you get you will feel good and your emotions will be positive and the more and more your emotions are positive you will attract good situations in your life and good people in your life so so they say that energy is contagious okay so let it be positive energy or negative it is contagious okay if everyone is happy even we say that happiness is contagious if everyone is happy and if you just go to this place even you will feel happy and if everyone is sad and if you go to this place you will feel sad okay so that's that's the fundamental of uh, the vibrations that's uh, energy is contagious so if i really want to uh, make my life very very positive find some good friends and try to spend some time with them daily half an hour one hour or at least once a week physically try to spend some time with them the more and more you time spend time with them or be along with them you will get the good vibrations and that good vibrations it creates good emotions and good emotions in turn it will be attracting good situations in your life so that's 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 one of the habit which you can cultivate if you really are not doing today yes of course uh, uh, since past 2 to 3 years we are doing everything online but now the restrictions are not there it's very important to physically go and be in the place or connect to the people so that we even feel the vibrations okay so uh, vibrations the positive vibes it helps us to have very positive attitude positive emotions and the energy which the good people have we can carry it forward okay and uh, so in similar date it's very important that we keep ourselves away from people who think always negative okay if that is a possibility i see that whether how you can keep yourself away or be a detached observer that is a question already someone has posted here how can we be a detached observer let's take that in the end okay so there are two questions how to be very positive and be a detached observer we'll take it at the end so energy is contagious so the more and more you create positive vibes positive emotions it's not just the positive thoughts the more and more you create the positive uh, vibrations or the positive emotions positive feelings the more positive your life will become so think that uh, just think take some time and see what are the areas where i can be very positive how i can plan my life or uh, plan my day to spend at least 10 minutes 15 minutes with people with good people who speak only good things okay so just you can think about that and just note it down and start putting it to in your uh, lifestyle habits and this is something which is uh, research has done a lot on this uh, we attract people who are vibrating on the same frequency as us the more and more we do some little effort and try to be with good people and try to create good feelings good emotions and once we start vibrating good feelings we attract people with the same frequency it it is the opposite also if you are not vibrating good feelings we, we attract people who are also not vibrating good feelings for example if we if we if we look at someone and as soon as we look someone we get angry we get agitated by whatever they have done in the past so if i get angry if i get agitated i am spreading that vibrations so i will be attracting those kind of people who are already angry and agitated in their life so if i take some effort if i can make some sacrifice if i can be little uh, tactful and uh, just try to spend some good time with good people and at least create good vibes okay so at least uh, some of the some of the uh, uh, we have seen uh, the writings earlier that uh, when you pretend to be powerful when you pre- even if you pretend to be good slowly you will start becoming good similarly uh, the more and more we spend time with good people and the more and more we have positive feelings positive attitudes positive behaviors we will start attracting those kind of people in our life life so when i say self love so i want to make my life very good when i want to make life good so what we need to do is we have to create good vibes or good feelings for that for that this these techniques we can start using it
Okay, so this is one of the uh, very, very important thing. We just uh, discussed this little in the previous slide also. That's if you act as someone who feels good, even if you are not really good, still if you, if you can act as someone who really feels good, your internal state will change and your vibrations will rise. So our vibrations will also slowly, slowly rise forward. Okay, so if you act as someone who feels good, your internal state will change and your vibrations will rise. So I, I just touched upon a point on the on the physical uh, pose where we sit and how we act and uh, uh, how we respond. Uh, even our uh, physical appearance that will also have an um, impact on our mood or uh, the physical pose also have impact on our mood. Okay, so that's it. If you act as someone who feels good, your internal state will change and your vibrations will also change. And uh, I was going through uh, one of the uh, sessions with respect to body language by uh, and and the and the way in which we uh, think so we'll see a small video by Ami Kadi on on the on the way which we think and what the impact it has it's just a two and a half minutes video i think uh, you can spend that two and a half minutes with me i'll just play here so i want to start by um offering you a free no test and all it requires of you is this, that you change your posture for two minutes. Okay, so I think you're not able to see the video. I've just uh, changed the screen sharing option. Able to see the screen now. I became especially interested in nonverbal expressions of power and dominance. Um, and what are nonverbal expressions of power and dominance? Well, so in the animal kingdom, they are about expanding. So you make yourself big, you stretch out, and humans do the same. So this is one of the points that you make yourself big, you just stretch out, you be confident. Don't just sit closed, you just stretch out, be confident. Then we can uh, see that uh, our mood changes, our feeling and attitude also changes. Thing. So they do this both when they, when they have power sort of chronically and also when they're feeling powerful in the moment. So powerful people tend to be, not surprisingly, more assertive and more confident. Physiologically, there also are differences on two key hormones, testosterone, which is the dominance hormone, and cortisol, which is the stress hormone. We decided to uh, bring people into the lab and run a little experiment. And these people adopted for two minutes high power poses or low power poses. And I'm just going to show you five of the poses, although they took on only two. This is what happens. They come in, they spit into a vial. We, for two minutes, say, you need to do this or this. We then ask them, how powerful do you feel on a series of items? And then we take another saliva sample. Here's what we find on testosterone. From their baseline when they come in, high power people experience about a 20% increase, and low power people experience about a 10% decrease. Here's what you get on cortisol. High power people experience about a 25% decrease, and the low power people experience about a 15% increase. So two minutes lead to these hormonal changes that configure your brain to basically be either. So you would have seen that um, the testosterone and the cortisol, that is uh, the different hormones which we secrete. So, uh, what she is telling is that we can even configure our brain, reconfigure our brain just by having changing our physical poses. Okay, so just by having positive poses, just by uh, even if you are uh, shy in front of others, you can do it separately, you can uh, do it in your uh, personal room or in bathroom, you can have that physical uh, the posture uh, changes just for two minutes a day, uh, you can practice this multiple times a day, uh, for just for two minutes, so we call it as power pose. And uh, so even that brings a lot of reconfigurations in our brain and your attitudes, your feelings, will, it, it will get influenced by this, even, even by the positive oppose, whatever we are having. So I will share this uh, uh, link also in this chat a little later. And it's a, it's a good uh, 20 minutes uh, video you can go through later on. But this is a very uh, shorter version of just for two minutes on the essence of uh, what uh, Amy has done the research. I'll just uh, continue with this. 
assertive, confident, and comfortable, or really stress reactive. But the next question, of course, is can power posing for a few minutes really change your life in meaningful ways? And so what matters, I mean, where you want to use this is evaluative situations. We decided that the one that most people could relate to was the job interview. What do you do before you go into a job interview? You do this. Right, you're sitting down. You know, you're looking at your notes. You're hunching up, making yourself small. When really, what you should be doing maybe is this, like in the bathroom. Okay, so we bring people into a lab, and they do a couple. They do either high or low power poses again. They go through a very stressful job interview. It's five minutes long. They are being recorded. They're being judged also. We then have these coders look at these tapes. Four of them. They're blind to the hypothesis. They're blind to the conditions. They have no idea who's been posing in what pose. They end up looking at these sets of tapes, and they say, "Oh, we want to hire these people." All the high power posers. We don't want to hire these people. But what's driving it? It's not about the content of the speech. It's about the presence. So this is very important. That is, it's not just about the content of the speech, what they are going to speak in the end, or what they are going to answer in the interview, but it's the confidence, it's the passion, it's the enthusiasm, how authentic they are, how captivating, how dominating they are. So it's uh, it's all based upon the. Uh, the physical posture in which people are uh, there in attending the interviews. They're bringing to the speech. The last thing I want to leave you with is this: tiny tweaks can lead to big changes. Before you go into the next stressful evaluative situation, for two minutes, try doing this in the elevator, in a bathroom stall, at your desk behind closed doors. That's what you want to do. Get configure your brain, bathroom stall,、okay. at your desk behind closed doors. For two minutes, try doing this in. You go into the next stressful. So you can see the post. The one is、uh, just、uh, having the hands like this. That is, I can do it. And the next posture is posture is having the hands on the hip to feel very confident. If you're not、uh, ready to do it in front of others, at least you can do it in a personal room or even in your bathroom. You can do it. So that's what she is telling. Out of situation, for two minutes, try doing this in the elevator, in a bathroom stall, at your desk behind closed doors. That's what you want to do. Get configure your brain to cope the best in that situation. Get your testosterone up, get your cortisol down, and it can significantly change the outcomes of their life. Thank you. So I will. So I want. I'll just share this、uh, link a little later to the top of you. Let's move back to the presentation. So well, so this is a very good、uh, video which you can go through.、Um, might be a little later, okay? And I will,、uh, I will, I will share this link.、Uh, okay, so let's go through one of the、uh, one more、uh, positive lifestyle、uh, which we need to、uh, practice. Okay, I hope、uh, most of you would have、uh, heard about this story that two frogs have fell down into a deep well. And、uh, so there are many other fro frogs. Okay, so they were,、uh, uh, but there there are many other frogs which are. Okay, am I audible? I think there's no audio.、Uh, just a minute. I will just make. No, no, audio. Audio, audio is fine. Yes, it's fine. Even in the video, we are, we are able to listen to the audio. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. So well, so there is、uh, a story you would have.、Uh, Listen to the story that two frogs fell into a deep well, and、uh, then there were other frogs at the top of the well, and they were looking at it and they are trying how they can bring them out. It's very deep, in, of course, and it's very steep, and、um, so they were exploring the options, and、uh, the, both the frogs were trying to come up, and、uh, after a long, a long, a lot of time, still they were still struggling to come even make little progress. Okay, then all the frogs which were at the top, they started shouting till that. Okay, so unlucky, you have fell down. It seems very very difficult to come out of this well. So this is what the other、uh, frogs from the top they were suggesting.、Uh, they were of course empathetic, but still,、uh, by seeing the real situation on the ground, they they told that okay, you cannot come up. And out of that, even in spite of all these、uh, frogs telling the, these two frogs that it's very very difficult to come up, one frog managed to come outside, and the other frog was not able to come out, and、uh, it was there inside the well itself. And after analyzing what made this frog come outside, so it is found that the frog which came out, it was deaf. It was not able to hear. 
uh, whatever things the other people are saying. Okay, in the similar way, sometimes when we move forward in our life, if we have a plan, people will say, hey, it is unrealistic. This is not an achievable goal. So there will be a lot of comments from others. So if you can start muting ourselves to the voice of the world, then it is very, very easy that uh, we can come out. So it's very important when you have a plan, okay? So keep that plan with you. And if you want, really we need to share with the others, yes, of course you can, but don't listen to the voices of others because people say that it is impossible or uh, they may demo demotivate us or they might tell their own opinion telling that yes, this is not achievable. But if we start listening to that, then we will believe that it is not achievable and we will stop trying to do it. So it's very important to mute ourselves to the outside world and listen to only those things which really matters to us. And if something is demotivating and if you really want to achieve something, use the techniques which we have used here and start stop listening to uh, the opinions of others. They may tell that it's really not possible to do this, okay? Of course, we uh, encourage people to have counselors and uh, coaches, and but still, if you, if you really think that someone is not optimistic and let's stop, uh, stop listening to them. This is a very important thing that if you really want to achieve something greater, let's mute the voice of the world and whatever, ambitions you have let's start imagining it visualizing it and start achieving it okay that's all about some of the uh, mind techniques we have, we have uh, seen okay so what are the techniques we need to um, have from the mind or uh, what we need to do now, now, now let's come something physical okay so what kind of food i, I need to have so they said that if you want to travel long and uh, without any hassles. So you should have enough fuel in your vehicle. Similarly, we need to fuel our body. So till now we were seeing about the different techniques for the mind, but let's fuel, let's see what are the things which helps us to fuel the body. The more and more, more water we drink, it keeps us very energetic. And along with that, uh, if, you, if you start using fresh fruits a lot, raw vegetables a lot, whole grains a lot, uh, whatever is listed here, it helps us a lot uh, to uh, even keep our mood very good and even keep our physical health also very good. So these are high vibration foods because we were speaking about uh, good vibes, good life. Okay, so good vibes, one is, is, one is mentally, uh, what are the different thoughts uh, we need to create that we have seen, but now we are going, going to see what are the food, the really do the food helps us in keeping our mood good is yes, our food. Even the physical posture, we have just seen some of the postures now, and uh, I will share the link with you for, uh, for to see that 20 minutes video, which is really helps to keep your mood up. So one is high vibrations of food, vibrational food. The more and more we stick to fruits, raw vegetables, whole, whole gra grains, this will be good, and coconut as well. And these are some of the lower vibration foods, such as boiled vegetables, milk, butter, eggs, honey, cooked fish, or some of these are low vibration foods and these are very low vibration foods that's cooked meats sauces pickles coffee tea chocolate jam all these are very low vibration foods and these foods the one the no angstroms it really doesn't add any value from the health health perspective so just run, just run the different uh, Things. Sometimes we eat those things, so we should not waste the food. So we sometimes eat the food which has been cooked one day back or two days back, or we, we, we go for tinned um, uh, cold drinks and all. So all these things really doesn't add value and it has very, very low vibrations. So if possible, see that whether you can bring changes in the food which you eat. If not fully, at least you start increasing the high vibrations food. Uh, as, as part of your daily uh, lunch or dinner or breakfast, so that uh, when you increase high vibration food, naturally the lower vibration foods uh, will be reduced. And the more and more we use high vibration food, it will have a really positive impact on our mind as well, on our mood as well, and, uh, and our feelings as well. So when we have good feelings, then we attract good situations in our life and good people in our life. Okay, so this is something uh, which we can also spend your attention on. Gratitude, 
So we touched a bit of it. So greatness starts by with being grateful. So when I say I love myself, I want to be, I want to feel confident. I want to feel happy. I want to move forward. Okay, I so um, I should have great emotions. So for that, just be thankful for the people around you. And even if they have done some mistakes, but still they would be having a lot of good things. They would have done good things to you. Just try to think about the good things which they have done for you. And they say that the more you count on blessings, the more blessings you will have to count on. That is, the more you count on the good things which other people have done you, so your feelings, you will feel good, you will generate good vibrations. So and the more and more good situations you will attract in your life. Then the question comes, if there is, there are some people who are really troubled us, as soon as I see them, I can see only the negative things than whatever they have done, done to me. So what to do? But still, it could be your mistake or it could be their mistake or it could have been some situation in the past. So in this place, we should just try to just detach ourselves from that situation. And if possible, just forgive that person. If you have done something, something bad, you just ask sorry, tell sorry, either physically or in your mind, from your heart, tell sorry to them, apologize yourself. And after apologizing once, then no need to again and again think about it. And if someone else has done some mistake, something really bad, just try to forgive them. So when you tell forgive them, you, it's not necessary that you go to them and tell them, tell them that I forgive you. No, when you tell forgive them, so just think give good vibrations and good feelings try to have good feelings yet it needs some effort try to have some good feelings to them and just put a full stop on whatever happened because the more and more you think if you think about the negative things which you, they have done in your life to your life the more you get angry or more you get agitated so that's the vibes you are generating agitated or angry vibes so you will attract more and more angry people or angry situations in your life so that's the reason it's very important for your goodness as well as others' goodness. Just forgive and forget whatever happened uh, in the past. Yes, of course, it needs uh, some little effort and even meditation and spiritual uh, learnings will help us to just keep ourselves detached from that situation and not to think more about the negative, negative things. So the more and more you count your blessings, the more blessings you will have to count. Okay, so this we have seen about the food. Okay, so we have heard a lot of things during this session. We just make a time check. So, so we have another uh, 17 or 16 more minutes. Okay, so quickly we will um, wind up this in five minutes and then we'll take a few questions and last uh, five to 10 minutes, we will uh, spend time in meditation positive affirmations and try to love ourselves. okay? Experience that love for us. So we have seen a lot of things, a lot of affirmations from the mind and the food and other aspects we have seen. So just take a moment and ask yourself, do you really love yourself? Whatever I am, I am that. Accept yourself for whatever you have. Accept yourself for whatever you are. Let go of the past. something bad happened in your life, put a full stop, take it as a learning. If 
you have done some mistakes if you have hurted someone in the past just visualize them in front of you and from your heart apologize to them tell sorry just have good vibrations that real they are really good let them have very good health wealth and happiness in their life i love myself i love them too just put a full stop on whatever happened see it as a learning if someone else have done something bad in the past and again and again that thought disturbs you or you might get angry or agitated when you see them or think about them you can visualize them in front of you and from your heart forgive them the benefit you are getting by forgiving is you will not again feel angry or agitated by thinking that and you will create good vibes so it's benefit for both of you so i love myself that's the reason i'm forgiving forgiving them so that i don't damage my situations going further okay so this couple of uh, minutes of exercise we can do every day see yourself think the positive thing which are within you and others and the very important thing is the vibrations which we create the attitude which we have towards ourselves as to, as well as towards others that's very very important so whatever needs to make that positive we can start doing it even if you want to sacrifice something that sacrifice it and make our life good if you really love yourself okay so someone asked to go to the previous slide i'll just move back so it's this uh, i hope it is this slide greatness starts with being grateful so have a dairy write a dairy whoever you met in your life from your childhood just think about the scenario it could be a friends it could be a teachers it could be the home mates the servants you pick you and drop to the school or the bus driver any one of these people just from your heart thank them it could be the security for all the people who were encountered in your life start thinking about the good things which you receive from them and then start giving them back and start thanking them from your heart the more you count out and then feel really blessed how blessed i am that i am able to sit and connect to the internet and listen to the session today this also i am grateful to the to the scientists who have invented this technology i am grateful to the my employer who gives good money good salary through which i could buy this equipment i'm i'm grateful for the people who made it available the shopkeepers or my parents or the people who helped me to have these things so even in a small situation try to see be grateful for everything which you have the more you count your blessings the more blessings you will have to count so in hindi say they say that in simple thing if you are not able to do many things whatever we discussed at least one thing you can start doing 
गिव ब्लेसिंग्स एंड टेक ब्लेसिंग्स दुआएं दो दुआएं लो गिव ब्लेसिंग्स एंड टेक ब्लेसिंग्स इवन इफ यू डू दिस वी इट विल बी आवर लाइफ विल बी वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड वी विल विल बी हैविंग ए वंडरफुल जर्नी इन आवर लाइफ ओके ओके सो देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन वी मेंटेन कंसिस्टेंसी एंड एंश्योर टू प्रैक्टिस दिस डेली बिकॉज़ वी टेक न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशंस and then what we do is we stop in between we do it for one month two month a few days and then we stop we do the physical exercise after two three days we stop so it needs a little effort and it needs uh, even even the mental thing what what we have seen just visualize you are really doing that you are achieving perfection in whatever habits you want to cultivate so see yourself doing it regularly so it's one is physically you are doing it another is Wish, mentally you visualize that you are very consistent you are very punctual and you are doing whatever you have planned that it be physical exercise that it be financial whether it is a meditation or whether it is a job or whatever aspects it is see you visualize yourself you are doing it perfectly fine you are doing it perfectly fine and the next thing to make it consistent is for example if you are wake, waking up at 6 o'clock every day in the morning don't have a target of uh, waking up 3 o'clock in the morning have a target of get waking up 5:30 and go a little early to the bed so step by step if we take which whichever if we plan something which is doable then it's easy to achieve and be consistent okay so let's explore the spiritual dimension in detail so there are different dimensions of course it needs a lot of sessions to cover each and every dimensions in detail Uh, i will just take few minutes around 5 minute 5 to 10 minutes to to cover the spiritual dimension okay so when i say spiritual dimension so it's all about knowing myself in detail loving myself so there was a question earlier that how i love my, myself the more i know about myself i can love myself the more i know about myself i accept whatever i am and then i can take steps to move forward so we have seen about the different qualities which we have we have seen about the different dimensions which we have and we have we have seen about the different uh, techniques the mental techniques and the uh, food habits the lifestyles we have seen now let's just take a step back and just try to know ourselves who i am so i was speaking for past about one and a half hour and you were also listening for about one and a half hour and you were uh, interacting over chat so and uh, who is that doing that actually basically in spirituality what we say is there is an energy in the center of the brain which controls the whole body and that's the energy which is responsible to create the vibes and that's the energy which which is responsible to create the thoughts and perform the actions and we call that energy as a soul as a tiny point of light okay so we call it as a tiny point of light you can see here okay so this is the energy okay and that's the soul and that's me it's that energy which activates which performs all the actions through this body so the knowing more about this energy will help me to know who i am where i am what are my qualities and then how to move forward so you can see some of the qualities listed here that is purity power love peace happiness and a lot of other virtues this energy is there so this energy is there in the center of the forehead just behind the eyebrows okay behind the eyebrows center of the eyebrows we have this energy sitting just in front of the hypothalamus and through the pituitary gland this energy operates the whole body and the response through the ears to our eyes through our uh, touch through all the sensory organs the response goes to the brain and uh, this energy operates the brain and also receives the uh, response okay so this energy is me that the soul so this is knowing about the spiritual dimension of ourselves and what i am made up of when you say that it's a physical body it's made up of five elements it's made up of uh, water it is made up of mud it's made up of space air warmth all these things similarly this spiritual energy is made up of a few kind of few qualities like purity power love peace 
happiness and experiencing these qualities is actually loving myself for example if i love my body i ensure that i give enough water i give enough you know food uh, the nutritious food the high vibrations food all these things i give um, when i love my body similarly when i love myself when i say myself i am a soul okay so when i say when i love myself helping myself to experiencing these qualities actually if you see if you feel very comfortable when you are loved by people and i feel comfortable when i love myself i feel comfortable when the situation is very clean when the it is pure when the and my surroundings are pure and clean i feel very comfortable because this is my original quality i feel comfortable when the surroundings are very peaceful i feel comfortable when i when i am feeling peaceful i feel comfortable when i am happy so because these are all our original values the original nature which we have so this is about the spiritual dimension wherein when i love myself enabling myself spending some time for myself every day to experience these powers or these qualities so that that's what we say that uh, focusing on the spiritual dimension and the more and more we think positive okay so the more and more we'll experience peace and we have we have uh, a lot of uh, science behind this as well so the more and more we know about it the more and more i know about myself i will be able to know myself not just the body loving the body as well as the soul okay so this is what i had and the more and more i remember this more and more i remember that i am a very peaceful being and i the soul i am very very loveful i am very very powerful the more and more i remember this this brings a lot and lots of strength within us okay so that's about uh, uh, just a quick peek on the spiritual dimension of our journey of life okay let's see whether there are any questions and abhijit bhai if you want you can uh, unmute those who have any questions uh, can we get the session on youtube i think yes it will be uploaded and uh, we will be communicating to uh, your email address whoever have registered if you have not registered you can register or you can drop me your uh, uh, phone numbers here we will uh, send an sms to you on the youtube link okay so if anyone has further questions so there are a few questions in the past i don't know whether i have covered everything abhijit bhai if you want you can unmute so that or uh, anyone want to say something you can raise your hand so that we can unmute you and before we wind up we will wind up with 5 minutes of meditation so before that i will see if there are any questions raised i think uh, archana is right having a question just why you can Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so basically, I would like to ask uh, for for someone who has been uh, criticized a lot as a child. Mm hmm. Uh, you know, but uh, like when you grow up, you realize that it was just because of uh, you know the the person was okay. It was like you know talented everything, but only because of the other person, they feel. uh it's deep in their mind that mm -hmm. uh you know they are not good enough uh you know even though they are doing very well in their uh, jobs and everything but you know the childhood thing is so deep that you know it has affected the self respect yeah. it has affected a lot of things mm -hmm. so uh because today's uh, this thing is about self love so sometimes it happens that your body shamed either you gain weight and you know even if uh, as a grown up you are okay yeah. quite okay but you know that uh, that has affected you as a adult so mm -hmm. what would you suggest when it has affected okay things? so one is two things one thing uh, when you think about that scenario who were criticized or put in you that position uh, you will be feeling bad you will be feeling angry one is that aspect so whatever i suggest now that is practice meditation and start forgiving them forgiving them it's not just for the benefit of them it benefits us also because we will stop stop remembering it 
and then we will at least give good blessings to them. And uh, when I start remembering that, that feelings of hatred, that feeling of angry, we will be able to come out of it. The other thing is, okay, so sometimes it gets too rooted into us and it would have impacted our behavior, our feelings. So for that, the positive affirmations daily, as soon as you get up, right, have very positive affirmations. I'm really powerful. So whatever feeling they have, the negative feeling, just think of an opposite, the positive feeling for that and start writing that affirmations. I am really powerful. I am really good. And um, these positive affirmations will help you a lot. The other thing is connecting to the Supreme. We have seen the spiritual dimension a bit. So if you, if you get some time, you can find the uh, Raj Yoga meditation centers um, and just learn meditation and just not just the meditation and along with that, uh, the teachings, what, what we teach. So that will help a lot to bring a lot of positive thinking within ourselves. The, and when we start thinking positive, and when we start thinking, uh, creating positive emotions, these positive emotions will overcome those negative emotions. So, so two things, one is forgiving, forgiving them and forgetting them to forget them. So we have to do some effort. So a lot of positive thinking and meditation helps you to come out of that uh, inferiority complex or the feeling which is uh, deeply rooted within you. I hope it helps. How can we learn to let go of people and attachment? What I practice is, okay, so even my parents, my friends, or my brothers, sisters who are at home, I see them, they are children of God. Okay, so when I say them children of God, I give a lot of respect to them. And I tell myself, they're not mine, they belong to God, and even I belong to God. So when I have this feeling, so then I give a lot of respect, I have a lot of love to them, with, and I see them with a lot of respect, So, but I know that they don't belong to me, they belong to God. So that's, that's the practice I do to let go of attachment. But of course, we will be with people, and, uh, but we will not have attachment. How to unlearn things and incidents. So by giving a lot of new inputs to our mind daily to think positive, there are a lot and lots of things, positive things, which we can explore. When we, when we are busy with that, when we, then we will start forgetting the incidents of the past. So one is forgive yourself if you have done some mistakes. Love yourself. Loving myself means accepting myself and forgiving myself. If I really someone else, love someone else, I will forgive whatever mistakes they have done. Similarly, if I love myself, forgive yourself even if you have done some mistake. And if someone else have done the mistake, you for, forgive them. And the easiest thing for this is just confess just before God, empty, surrender yourself to God. Telling this other incidents again and again, it's coming to my mind. Just surrender yourself and you can see that, that that thing vanishes from your memory. How to merge spirituality and society? Okay, so this is a question recently someone asked me, how do you balance between your uh, office work and the spiritual journey? So what I do is, I don't, I don't have two things. I don't make it separate. I don't make my spiritual journey separate or society separate. What spirituality tells? We have seen that um, in this picture, we have seen that I am a being of love or happiness. So when I say spiritual journey, so being in the society, being loveful with everyone, being happy with everyone, being pure with everyone, and internally challenging myself and bringing little, little improvement every day. So, it's, so it is that spirituality that is doing our work properly, that is spirituality bringing perfection in whatever work you do, bringing perfection in your relationship, bringing perfection in your work, and uh, bringing perfection in your thoughts, that's spirituality. So that's, some, that's what is needed in the society. So both are same actually. So spirituality is something which needs to be practiced in the society, then being positive with everyone and creating good vibes everywhere, that's spirituality. So there is no spirituality separate from the
We have to two minutes wait. The speaker is coming. Before that, uh, we have one which is uh, held in uh, on job post. So every chunk on a post so, to have do then you can match here also so that i uh, do all the details so Sorry, you're on. Sorry, 
I got dropped off in between. Mute audio, sorry. Yeah, so I got dropped off in between. Sorry for that. And uh, so uh, let's wind up the session with a quick uh, meditation. So if you have any further questions, we can. If not, uh, let's wind up with uh, another five minutes of meditation. Just bear with me. Sit relaxed. Let me just share my screen in between. Just see yourself. Stepping out of your house. And going to a very beautiful place. See yourself sitting in. On the top of the mountain in a scenic place as you see in this picture this is relax the muscles of the whole body Relax the muscles of your face. Just visualize there is a tiny bright star. Sparkling in the center of your forehead. As you see in the picture. I am an embodiment of love. I'm spreading love, full vibrations to my brain. I love my brain. I appreciate it for all the tasks it has done in my life. I love my eyes. I love my face. I'm spreading this love full vibrations to my heart. I appreciate my heart. for tirelessly working in cleansing the blood and pumping the blood. I spread love, full vibrations to my lungs.
every cells of my lungs are getting healed. The lungs are becoming healthier. It is filled with love. Just see in front of you the Supreme God, the Supreme Energy. Visualize God loves you. As I love myself, these vibes, as I attracted God near me, and God is showering me a lot of love. I love myself. I am loved by God. And I am loved by the whole universe. I am just sitting below the rays of love from God. I am receiving the loveful rays. and spreading it to my stomach, my shoulders. And I'm spreading God's love to each and every organs and each and every cells of my body. My whole body is charged with God's love and power. Even the soul is getting charged with God's love. I love myself and I'm very lucky that God loves me and I'm loved by the whole universe. Shanti, and thanks everyone for joining. And even we have the basic meditation course, Raj Yoga meditation course, starting from 1st of August. And I will just paste the invite here in the chat. So thanks everyone for joining and I will be, I will see whether I can upload in the chat. And someone asked for the link, I will be pasting the link here, the link for the video which you have seen. Just bear with me for a minute, I am just sharing the link. So this is the link for the video which I have shown. So I'm not able to 
share that particular invite, but I will share my screen. I will show you can just take a snapshot. I'm sharing my screen. You can take a snapshot of the invite. So the meditation course, if you want to do it online, you can register, you can take a snapshot of the screen. Starts from 1st August to 7th August, it's from 78 a.m. in the morning. You can just uh, note on these details. Uh, for this year to do the online registration, so I can type the registration link here. You can just register here in this link so that uh, you can learn the meditation. So this is the link for the meditation session, which you are planning to organize from 1st to 7th of August. Mm -hmm. So thanks everyone for your time. Thank you, we will meet in the next session.